with another installment of my Home Purge series. If you missed the first one, I will link it in here in a card and you can also find a link below. Um, but that's where I did all of my wardrobe. I went through it using the Con Marie method um, and I did a book nook on what that's about. If you're interested, I will also link that guy, that video for you guys if you're like, what the heck is that? Um, it's basically a method of purging, organizing, um, that involves putting everything from a certain category, kind of in a pile, and then deciding on what you're keeping based on feeling rather than rationalization. Um, it's a very popular book right now. It's actually a, a really smart and clever Japanese woman um, Mari Kondo. I don't know how to say her name properly, but it's a really interesting read and I, I definitely recommend it. Um, but I decided to continue my home purge series. I'm kind of doing a one room at a time, so I'm still working on my bedroom here. It's our master bedroom. And the next thing I really wanted to do was my beauty stash, and that includes both toiletry products, you know, things that I use in my bathroom, skincare, body stuff, all of that jazz, and also cosmetics, um, which is in, I store in my vanity, which I'm sitting at right now. Um, so I did both of those things all in one fell swoop, and I kind of used the Connery method. Um, I basically took everything out of my bathroom first and put that all in a pile on the floor, and then kind of worked through it that way, but I left some things in containers, and I, it, I didn't put everything in a big pile, but I did bring everything out of my bathroom. So I did that first, and then I did the same thing with my makeup. And I actually really liked using that sort of method for this part of my home purge as well, um, because I feel like when it comes to personal things, like my wardrobe and my beauty stash, I just have a lot. And the putting everything in a pile all in one place, if you have the space for it, really helps you kind of grasp that. And it adds this shock value where you're like, Oh my gosh, I have like seven jillion, jillion's not a word, but I have seven jillion brushes. And, it, and, it's, and it's just like seeing them all kind of spread out on the floor, it's sort of a, an, a, you know, a wake up call. Uh, so I really, I really found it very useful to use this method uh, for this part of my home purge as well. Am I gonna do this for my entire home? Probably not, but I do like kind of borrowing tips and tricks from the Connery method, and I feel like it's a valuable read, like I said, uh, that book. Anyway, I'm gonna go through and show you guys what I did. Um, like I said, I started with my toiletry stuff, all the stuff in my bathroom, and then I moved on to my vanity. And it was simple as like just pulling out a towel, putting it on the floor, and then kind of just piling everything on and going through everything. I will say that it wasn't quite as instantaneous to decide what stayed and what went like it was with my clothing. I felt like with my clothing, I really just could do it so much faster. But with my toiletries, while I tried really hard not to rationalize too much, I felt like there had to be some rationality played in there because they're th products I use, you know, for my like personal care. Uh, so I had to incorporate a little bit of thought and rationalization into it. I really tried to focus on how I felt about the products when it wasn't something that I really needed to use on a daily basis for you know general health and well-being. Um, so. That being said, I'm gonna show you guys what I did. I'm gonna just kinda of zip through that footage. And I do proper before and after tours of both my bathroom space and my vanity. So you can see the difference and all the in-between processes um, that I went through to kinda of pare it down. So I will, I'll catch you on the flip side. This is my bathroom. You're probably familiar with it. Um, the organization is the same as the last time I organized it. If I can find that video, I'll link it somewhere. Um, and really what we're going to be doing is looking in the drawers and cabinets at all the products. I've been, I started cleaning out the drawers and that kind of inspired me to, to do this today. Um, but under the sink here, I have a lot of backup face cottons that I bought on sale at Sephora. I just buy them in bulk when I have that Sephora sale because, you know, Cause you do, it's a lot of backup products here. It's mainly face cottons to be honest, some cleaning products, um, nail polish remover and Q-tips. This is obviously um, mouthwash, <laughs> but uh, I have my hair dryer back there and um, my hair, my like curler brush. I'm not sure what to call that. All my extra brushes and combs. And in here, this is really full. This is all of my heating tools. 
tools like, like curlers and heating wands and curling irons and flat iron. I mean, I don't even know I have flat iron to be honest. I have flat hair. <laughs> But um, that's what all that is. And then we have three drawers here um, where we keep like our most used stuff. Um, I have my little lip, lip products, my hair things, hair ties, um, Dawn's razor, our floss, floss picks, that sort of thing. Um, this section is Dawn's. I'm not going to be touching that stuff. The rest is all mine. I have just have way more products than him. You guys, if he had more products, he could have more space, but he doesn't, and he really doesn't care. Um, but this is all basically skincare uh, that I really actually use um, in these two containers. That's Tylenol, that's not skincare. And then some hair stuff in the back and some moisturizers. And the bottom is like all hair stuff. And I feel like I don't really wear most of that stuff anymore. So I feel like we can make a dent in there for sure. I also have a few more products in here, um, a couple more hair products and uh, plaques. This also has that machine in the back is a steam shower that connects to our main shower, which is right there. I do have products in my shower, but we're actually currently using them, so I'm not going to be purging those because I only keep things in my shower that I'm currently using. We also have this little linen closet in our um, bathroom, and I'm going to be pulling out some of the bins. It's the same organization as the last time I did. I'm going to be pulling out the seasonal extras bin. I'm going to be pulling out this is my extra products bin. And um, well that's probably about it because the rest medical, I go through these first aid and medical bins kind of on a regular basis just to make sure everything's up to date and we have everything we need. And then Dawn stuff I'm not going to be going through. Lastly I'm going to be going through my tower because you can see this cardboard box on the top. That has all my Lush stuff that's I've gotten as gifts over the last couple of major holidays and the top two drawers there are just full of empty Tupperware containers where I used to store Lush things but then I kind of, that was when I was like in a crazy Lush phase and I'm not really in it anymore. I just, when I get gifts I enjoy them but otherwise I don't really make a point of buying a lot of Lush stuff anymore. Um, so I can definitely clear out those and move the stuff that's on top of that unit into the drawers again. Um, and the rest is just sort of mainly decorative. I feel like that bin never has anything in it, so I might move that. And I kind of want something where I can put my candle and my book up on like a little pedestal or something. I don't know. That's more decorative though, so that won't be for this video. And that's basically everything. So let's pull stuff out and start purging. So I actually went ahead and pulled everything out that I showed you that I was going to onto, basically onto this towel in my bedroom. And things that were in bins, I kind of left in bins just for space. But I really wanted to have that effect where I had all of the stuff in one place and I could really see the enormity of the pile. Like, this is crazy, you guys. I am not a product person for hair care, but somehow I have like a bajillion hair care tools and hair care products. Skincare, I will admit, I love my skincare, but all of these hair accessories, like this is just ridiculous. So I'm gonna work on this sorting and then I'm gonna put everything back. finished um this is what I got rid of I would say it's about 30% which is kind of what I was thinking um so we've got trash to give to give that's all hair stuff I'm gonna ask see if my nieces want those things um those are empty bins and then I've got some things that just need to go in other places and something in particular I'm gonna see if my mother-in-law or sister-in-law want those are my cleaning products. And then I went ahead and I cleaned out the little containers while I was going. Um, but I pared down my hair accessories by a lot. Um, so I'm down to those containers and the one with it's just half full of headbands. And I didn't throw out a lot of, like, much, if any, of my skincare. But I did um, toss a bunch of really old things that were pretty much empty. And I also did pare down quite a bit of my hair thing. So I'm going to put everything back uh, and we're going to see if it's just a little bit more room to breathe in there. Okay guys, the transformation is complete. It's 
small but to me very noticeable. It just seems a little bit neater and less cluttered. Not going to notice a lot of changes right away here because this just kind of looks the same. I did take quite a bit out of that little bin that I have my hair dryer in. So there's a lot less kind of bumping around in there and this is a huge difference. I cut down my heat styling tools by like 80%. So now I really just have the things that I use, um, which is nice. And then on this side under the sink, um, it's just two hair things now. There's nothing going down and my plax is there. Um, Cause I'm the only one who uses that, but we both use the other mouthwashes. That's why I keep that under Don's sink. Easy for both of us to access, but these are just too tall to fit in my drawer, which I'll show you in a second. As for the drawers, I didn't really change the structural organization I had in place. I just kind of tidied up. So you'll see um, there's just a little bit less going on. It's a little bit easier to access, but everything's sort of organized in the same way. Same with this middle drawer here. Um, I did end up cleaning up Don's things. I didn't get rid of anything. I just kind of shuffled them around and cleaned them up because I was cleaning up the drawers as well. And my skincare, like I said, didn't change that much. Um, but there's a lot less going on in the back. I kind of put all the hair stuff now in one drawer. And this is all skincare stuff for me in this drawer. And like I said, this last drawer is just all hair care stuff now. It's... I've kind of filled the bottom of the drawer, but there's a lot of space left in this drawer. I used to have things kind of stacked like this uh, vertically, but I don't have a need for that now. And I've really, you know, kind of pared it down to the things that I actually use. The linen closet doesn't really look different because, like I said, didn't change the organization. I didn't pare down my bin of extra body products because they are things I plan on using. A lot of them came in subscription boxes or were gifts, and I have been making an effort to really get through those things. Um, things like shower gel, they don't really go bad that quickly, uh, so I don't worry about keeping things on hand. I did go ahead and remove that bin uh, that I said I wasn't using because I really wasn't using it. I do want to get like a little pedestal thing for over there um, just to kind of put the candle up on a higher level. Um, but you know, no rush. Bathtub kind of looks the same. This is different though. Totally clean on top now. And if you're wondering why I have this folded bath mat there, it's because whatever this thing is, it drips sometimes. So that, that just lives there. It's not part of the decor. But I was actually able to sit that Lush box in here, um, which, which makes it just easier. And I have my little cutting board and knife that I use to cut my bath bombs. And then um, I have my foot buffer thing, Clarisonic foot thing in a box now and all my extra little bath uh, goodies and then these are the bath gels that Dawn uses sometimes, my Epsom salts, my um, these are my essential oils and then I also have my foot buffer and my um, lighter thing that I use all the time to light my candles. So this is my vanity, if you're not familiar. I'll link a video where I showed my last organization of it. I think I did one last year, actually. Um, it's from Pottery Bartine. It's the Hampton Superset Tower, something like that. I had it painted. Uh, it's a beautiful vanity, and it's got lots and lots of space in it, which means that I've been able to accumulate lots and lots of makeup. So I'm just going to show you the parts that are kind of beauty related. I also store my jewelry in here, but I'm not doing that today. Um, lots of body sprays that I really honestly never use and lots of hand sanitizers. I really have so many of those, so I'm thinking I'll probably downsize that a bit. Way more brushes than anybody needs. Honestly, guys, this little tin here, this, this little cup, it's all the brushes I ever really use on a daily basis. Most of those, to be honest, were sent to me from, for PR uh, from Sigma uh, because I am a Sigma affiliate. And I'm thinking I'm going to pass those along, to, uh, most of that collection, onto friends and family. I'll probably keep some of them to take out to the Utah house too. And then the drawers are all makeup. You can see I need to clean these a bit. Uh, in the top drawer, I have eyebrow and eyelash products. So mascaras, brow gels, pencils, lashes, fake lashes. And then this is all eyeliners, different kinds. So um, pencil, these are more like highlights. These are pencil liners. These are liquid liners or, you know, pen liners. And then those are gels. This is all bases, eye bases, um, cream eyeshadow bases and pencils. 
highlighting pencils. And then this is more bases. A lot of those things, again, sent to me from Sigma. A lot of Sigma eye, single eyeshadows. These are where I have all my single eyeshadows. This is all little small eyeshadow palettes. And then in the bottom here, I have my big, bigger eyeshadow palettes. Here on the other side, um, this really isn't, there, I have some kabuki brushes and some makeup boxes of products I'm in the process of reviewing and then some new products like mascaras that I haven't opened yet. This is my lip tower, way too many lip products. I can totally, I mean, I actually did a lot of purging of this last year if you saw the, the video from the first time I did one. Um, but yes, there is still more work that can be done. I feel like I can probably get rid of another third of these, at least. Um, and the top three drawers are um, jewelry. So now here we've got face products. So I've got all my concealers in here and my powders in here and my uh, foundations in there. And then blushes. I have like a ton of blushes. I could probably definitely get rid of a lot of those. And bronzers and highlights. I feel like there's a couple of those I could I could definitely part with as well. And then here I have a basket of all brand new products, mostly Sigma products. Like I said, I've gotten a lot of products from them for PR reasons over, you know, over the last couple of years. Now a lot of shelters um, won't take used products, women's shelters, I mean. Um, so I'm hoping that I can find some place to donate the new makeup I have. And if I can't find a place to donate the old makeup, I have friends and family who can um, take the items and share them with their friends as well. the sheer amount of stuff I was able to purge from my beauty stash. The trash is both the bathroom products and the, and the beauty pro the makeup products, but I filled the whole trash bag. I filled a whole bag of things for my friends and family to go through that are, you know, used by me, things that I can't necessarily donate. And I have a nice selection of brand new things that I can donate. Look at all of these brushes. Holy crumbly. Uh, a couple of things that I specifically have to give my mom, and then all of the containers I pulled out of my vanity that I no longer need. I also was able to pull the stacked, this is so the three stacked hat boxes that was like next to my vanity because I don't need them anymore. I opened up so many drawers, I could store everything in my vanity. I used to keep kind of like um, jewelry pouches and my tra makeup travel cases and things like that in there. I don't need that anymore, which is awesome. So I'm going to take you over to show you what is in my vanity now. So this basically looks the same from the outside as it did before. I don't mind all my lights and things. Um, I try to keep the desktop pretty clear. Um, but you can see no more stacking hat boxes next to it. Totally clear over there now. And you'll see there are changes on the inside. So I have managed to get all of my makeup onto just this side of the vanity 
vanity, which is awesome because I have that window there and usually I would have both of the doors of the vanity open and it kind of blocked my natural light coming in when I was doing my makeup. It was always kind of dark over here. This way I can just have this door open, that door shut, and do my makeup and uh, not have to open and close it and still get the natural light in, which is awesome. And I kind of just like the idea of all my makeup fitting in here. Like, that's plenty of makeup. Believe me, I am not running low on makeup anytime soon. Um, I can show you, I did pare down the body sprays quite a bit. I feel like my nieces and perhaps some of the uh, women in my family will be interested in those. And I kind of pared down my hand sanitizers. Those are probably gonna go somewhere else. But I moved the Muji five drawer compartment over here. Um, I got all my lip products into one of these. I used to have two stacked on the other side of the vanity, just one now. Uh, and I've got all of my makeup kind of tool things here, my, my wipes and my tissues. And this is a little bowl where I put in kind of the lipsticks I'm currently into since I tend to wear them for a few weeks at a time or like new products that I'm trying or samples or things. So that's just a little bowl I keep there. So my goal is to not expand out of the five drawer system. If I want to buy more lip glosses and they don't fit in here, then I gotta get rid of some. Um, so I've got lip gloss at the top. Top two drawers are lip glosses, plenty of lip glosses. And I just made a point of kind of purging anything that was pretty old or really a formula I wasn't into anymore. And my kind of tastes have kind of changed. The third drawer down, middle drawer, is my uh, lip balm products, my lip crayons, um, that sort of, that sort of deal. And then the bottom two are lipsticks. Um, and it's just a, you know, I kind of group them by type, but it's a mix of high-end and um, drugstore products. And then the bottom drawer is kind of my luxe, my luxe drawer. Um, this is where I did the, the least pruning because I love these lipsticks. Um, but I'm very, very happy with that. And then, like I said, all of my makeup now fits on the one side of the tower. So I kind of kept the organization pretty much the same because it worked for me. I made a few tweaks here and there. Uh, this is my eyelash and eyebrow drawer. So I took one of the um, containers out because the new... Um, Mascara boxes don't fit in it, but I feel like they're, they're pretty self-contained there. Um, what I did is I put my little eyelashes, since I don't really wear them very often, I just tuck them in the back. And when it's a special occasion and I want to reach for them, which happens like once every other year, they're back there, but I don't need to see them on a daily basis. So right here, this is all eyebrow care. So my scissors and tweezers and all my eyebrow products. And then this is where I keep open mascaras, my... Um, eyelash curler wand and this is a little uh, spoolie that I use just to kind of comb through my lashes after I apply mascara and I have extra ones back there because um, I do toss those every couple of months and replace them. And then the next drawer down is my eyeshadow bases, my cream eyeshadow bases and kind of uh, pencil eyeshadow pencils and highlight pencils and then I have all of my eyeliners here. I have liquid liners and then pencil liners and then I have gel liners. I just kept three of those in the back because I don't really use those as often. Next drawer down is my loose eyeshadow pigments and single eyeshadows and like small eyeshadow palettes. So you can see I have all of my pigments over here. And then I have all my single eyeshadows here. And then all of my small palettes here which have three or less basically eyeshadows in them, except for that little Dior one that was just a sample, but it fits better in there. I fit all of my palettes now in one drawer, including my big palettes and my smaller ones. And I kind of want to keep it. Like, I can't add any more in here unless I take something out. Um, maybe could fit one more palette, but that is it. Um, so, pretty happy about that, how that turned out. Down here, I have my face products, still organized the same way they used to be on the other side of the tower, but this is all of my um, concealers and primary kinds of things. My powders are here, and then my foundations and tinted moisturizers, CC creams, BB creams, all that jazz right there. And then I was most proud of the work that I did, not only on the lip products. I kind of knew I was going to purge a lot of that. I was not sure I was going to purge a lot of my blushes and bronzers because I had a huge collection. I had two big drawers full of those things, one just for blushes. Well, I've cut the blushes down, so it's just this row in the front and um, like two-thirds of the 
of the square container in the back. Those are blushes. And then I have highlighters in there. I only have three because I don't need that many highlighters. And then this is the all the bronzers I have now. I have just one square container of them, and that is it. And that is making me very happy because um, there was a lot that I could weed out of that. I was just kind of hesitating to do, and I'm glad that I finally did it. So the rule is now that if it don't fit in this drawer, it ain't coming in my house. I'll show you what I did really quickly with the other side here. I kind of left this stuff on the door all the same. I haven't done my jewelry um, collection yet, but I'll probably do that soon. Um, I put all of my big travel makeup cosmetic cases up there. Um, they used to be in those, um, you know, the stacking hat boxes. These are just decorative, so that shelf could be used for something. I just don't need it right now. This is one of my like brand new products and empty boxes of things that I'm reviewing. I just like to hold on to the boxes um, when I'm reviewing stuff. And then I pared down my brush collection so much, you guys. I'm so proud. So this container is the brushes that I use on a daily basis. So basically, I'll just take that out and pop it down and then close the door and have the natural light. And then these are the brushes that are um, that I kind of swap through occasionally. Um, and I do change, you know, from time to time. So this is all like face brushes and these are all eye brushes. And then these are all kind of kabuki style brushes. Um, and I'm, I'm really proud of the paring down that I did with that. Because it's, it's still a lot of brushes, don't get me wrong, I really only need this. But I have them all because, uh, like I said, Sigma Affiliate and just being a makeup brush lover over the years. First three drawers are still jewelry. Bottom three drawers used to be makeup, and now I've got sort of my backup stuff here. So Q-tips, and um, these are little bags I use to store my jewelry in, and a little pad and paper. Next drawer down is my travel jewelry and some of my travel makeup things that are smaller. So these are jewelry pouches, uh, travel brush set. Um, this is an empty Sigma canister just in case I want to use that someday. And then the bottom drawer, those are all my jewelry pouches. And you might be thinking, why do you save all those? Well, that's because occasionally I give away or donate or sell for charity some of my jewelry pieces, and I like to have the original cases, so I keep them. I also have um, the little lids that go to the um, containers that I use to store my, store my Q-tips in, just so I know where they are um, in case I change that sometime. Just like to keep everything together. And that, my friends, is everything. Okay, scratch that. I actually made an update. As I was doing my makeup, I noticed that some of the things I most frequently used were on the other side, the, the door on the other side of the vanity, and I wanted kind of everything on this side, like I mentioned. So I just moved these three products over, my makeup uh, finishing spray, my MAC Fix Plus, and my brush cleanser, which I decant into a spray bottle. I also had to adjust the shelf so that this would close all the way, um, so I had to move that up. And I put the fragrances over by the fragrances. And now everything in here fits pretty well all by itself. And then on this side, I just left the uh, Q-tips and the eye makeup remover and a couple of sprays that I don't use very often because, like I said, I don't reach for these things on a daily basis. It's just kind of every once in a while as, I, as needed or as whenever I feel like it. So that's why they're over here. So I can mainly keep this door shut and everything fits nicely. And I can see it all in one spot, everything that's going. Containers I can put away until I need to use them for something else. Um, brushes to give away. These are other containers and things to kind of repurpose in my house. I found a whole bunch of travel brushes and a little Mac Hello Kitty a brush cup that I'm going to add as a free gift to one of my current charity auction items, which is the MAC uh, cosmetic case. Uh, I put a link to my charity auction below if you guys are like, what? Uh, this is all brand new makeup I can donate to shelters. This is the crazy amount of containers that I had in the corner caddy on top of my bathtub with all Lush stuff from, I haven't used for a couple of years because I don't buy that much Lush stuff anymore, but um, hello, nutto, like cray cray. I'm gonna wash those out and either donate them or repurpose them for something. And then in the bottom here, we have things to give away. So this bag is things I can donate um, to a charity or shelters or whatever. These are items that are beauty items that are used by me, so I'm gonna see if friends or family want them or friends or family of them. All garbage. And then these um, stacking hat boxes, I'm not sure if I'm gonna donate or keep yet. For, you know, just put in storage for now, but I might just get rid of those. So that is everything. And it is feeling lighter in here. As you can see, 
It was kind of a time consuming process. This definitely took me longer than my clothes. I spread it out over a couple of days and it took me the better part of two days. Um, but it was just like a lot of little things to get through. And like I said, I had to put a little bit more thought into it. But I didn't linger too long. Uh, the hardest thing I felt for me to do was to purge down my brushes. I have way too many brushes. I think I mentioned in the, in the footage that um, Sigma Affiliate, I've been sent a lot of brushes for PR, and um, I just, it was really hard. I had to go through each one and could just kind of think like, do I really need this? Or don't I have like three other brushes that do the same thing? So that was just, it was just more time consuming. I wouldn't say it was really hard. It was just more time consuming because I had to put more thought into it. But I was able to get rid of a ton of brushes and also pull out an entire stash to replace my collection at our family home in Utah, which I've been unhappy with my brush selection out there. Um, so I have a whole stash to bring out there and I can donate those now, which is great. Um, so I was really able to kind of get rid of a, like more than 50% of my brushes. I would say I got rid of of about 80% of them, maybe 70, 70%. And uh, also I think I got rid of about 30% of my toiletry stuff and probably about 30 to 40% of my makeup stash, my beauty stash. So all in all, I'm very, very pleased. That was kind of my target. And it's been, you know, just about a day since I did, did all of that. And already it is just feels so easy breezy in my vanity and in my bathroom drawers and cabinets. I mean, a little purging goes a long way in kind of freeing up your space. And this isn't stuff that I keep out. I don't like keeping products out. Uh, on any counter space if I can help it, with the exception of my perfumes, but those are more like for display. Um, but it just, you know, even just opening the drawers and stuff, it just feels breezier. And everything in there is something that I either use on a regular basis or really like to use on a less regular basis. Um, so it's all stuff I use and love, which is awesome. And that's sort of the point. That's the whole Connery method point. So anyway, that was my beauty purge, uh, and that was the end of what I'm going to be showing you probably mostly in my my master bedroom. All that's left to purge is sort of tchotchkes. Um, I don't have that many tchotchkes in our bedroom, but I'm also going to be doing my bookshelves, but I'm going to combine that with my home office purge, which I'm going to be doing in May. So I'm kind of spacing out my home purge series over the course of this year. Um, just because it feels more natural to me and a little less overwhelming. And also I want to post other content for you guys. I don't want it to just be like three months of purging videos. Uh, but I hope you guys are interested and enjoyed this. I'd love to know if you recently did a beauty purge too. If you want to share thoughts or pictures, you can tweet me, Facebook message, Instagram, just tag me. That's the best way for me to see you on Instagram is if you actually like tag me. Um, and like I said, I will be back next month to share how I'm purging my books and also how I'm going through my office. And that is going to be a big project because paper lives in my office and I have big plans to purge paper. We are going digital. I'm a little late on the bandwagon, but I'm getting there and I'm going to get rid of I think at least 90% of the paper I hold on to. Um, and I will talk more about that. I'm just like scheming up this now, but I'll talk more about that next month when I come back for that. In the meantime, I have a couple of other fun videos planned. So stay tuned for that if you guys want to see something different. But like I said, I will be back with more purge videos next month. I hope you guys are well. Thanks so much for watching and take care. Bye you guys.